Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to play the new exclusive game mode, uh, only limited time available, called Heat Seeker. Now you can see there, as I've just uh, opened it up, there's only 3 days and 23 hours left of this game mode, so if you want to play it, you'll want to get into Rocket League and try it as soon as possible. Uh, but if you read this, it says that touching the ball automatically sends it in the direction of the opposing team's goal, so I guess there's going to be lots of curvy shots going on target. It fires back towards your goal if it hits the backboard. Oh, so you can, you can own goal with this, okay. And the ball gains speed with each uh, each touch, seven goals to win. Let's just get into it and see how it is. Um, I have no idea what to expect here, other than probably lots of goals, lots of very difficult to read and difficult to hit, very fast moving uh, Rocket League balls. Um, but yeah, let's just go see what happens. <laughs> I've got no idea uh, what to expect. Okay, 3v3. Uh, the balls actually started off in their half. Now, oh my days, okay. Well, that was not the touch I was expecting. Okay, so if it hits the backboard, it's just gonna go towards, oh, it's just going in, of course. <laughs> I thought it was carving into the backboard, so I left it. I wanted to see if it would go back towards his goal. Hold on a second then. How come it said that line about if it hits the backboard? Maybe the curve is limited. Maybe there's an, a certain amount of curve. I'll let that guy hit it. Let's see what he can do. Looks like there's no boost available anywhere. Look at that, he's just <laughs> threaded the needle perfectly. Oh, it's already 4-4 as well. Okay, hold on. Oh no, this guy's being toxic. <laughs> he just called his teammate an idiot. <laughs> How can you be, listen, this game mode's been live for 10 minutes. How can you already be salty about it? I, this is interesting that the kickoffs are uh, just given to one team. I, I keep forgetting that it's just gonna spin on target. I'm rotating away, man, my team is nuts. I've got no points. <laughs> My team just keeps scoring. Look at that. Calculated. So, if I was to make a guess, I think the best thing to do in this game mode would probably just be to stay in goal. Because everything's going to go into, or everything's going to go on target eventually. Like, is that hitting? No, that's hitting the backboard. Now it's just going to go into their goal. <laughs> Blue scored. <laughs> oh no. Well. I guess that confirms it then. There is a certain limit to how much curve there is. I, I was fairly sure that one was hitting the crossbar because I was in goal this time so I could see where it was going. I'm still in zero points but we're winning so I'm just going to stay in goal and see what happens. That guy's got that. Totally. That's off. So, okay, that's just going in. That's just a goal again. <laughs> we just win. Oh my goodness. We're so good at this. This is actually hilarious. This is genius, man. Out of all the game modes I like to come up with, this one, this one has to be the funniest. It's certainly in the first game that I've played it. Haven't touched the ball, and we win <laughs> seven four. This is genius. Whoever came up with it. Uh, but like I was gonna say, I love that there's a uh, there's a limit to the curve. So if you shoot really really badly or really inaccurately, it will just hit the post and then go straight towards your net, seemingly faster. Uh, but yeah, you could definitely hit some nasty shots on target with this if you just miss by a, you know, a decent miss on purpose by a decent amount, then it's probably going to spin uh, into the goal or spin on target at least. Uh, the one thing I haven't had a chance to see yet is just how fast the ball will go with consecutive touches. What's the limit on that? Um, the problem, <laughs> the problem with trying to generate fast touches. Oh, it didn't bounce up as high as I thought it would. I'm an idiot. And like I was saying, the problem with consecutive touches is that one of them's just gonna fly in. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Nobody's gonna save it. So we, we're not gonna get a really, really fast uh, shot if people keep missing the saves. But you can kind of forgive them for missing these saves. I mean, it's a really difficult save there. I'm just gonna stay in goal and see if I can make saves because that's gonna get the ball moving quickly. That's probably going in target, isn't it? Okay, that guy's got it. No, I think that's just in. Yep, they're not saving it. <laughs> For goodness sake. Maybe there's a hidden rating to this, so if I keep winning games, um, I'll go against better opponents. I, I really don't know what matchmaking is tied to this game mode, uh, but it looks like my team have figured out how to hit the ball quite well. This guy is actually going for demos. Interesting. Is he still in our half? Okay, he's back now. That's coming to our goal. All right, here we go. Get some consecutive touches on it, boys. Look, it's absolutely flying now. Okay. Oh, it's getting quick. I think the backboard counts as a consecutive touch, so if you hit the backboard with it, it speeds up. There we go, it's actually flying. 
All my days, I can't read it. Oh, thank goodness my teammates can. That's in. Save it. Okay. That's going in as well. Oh my goodness, this guy on my team is insane. Somebody save it. Oh, we're still going. This has got to be the most that I've seen so far. I'm just the last line of defense here. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. Now, I say in the last line of defense, I'm pretty sure one of the shots that they took was going to go past me. Oh my goodness. Try reading that. Look at this nice exchange, she says. Maybe we should get that as a quick chat. Nice exchange. I like it. Um, everybody's pretty ball chasey in this game mode, understandably, but... Um, I imagine if you got into a higher rank lobby, people would actually stay back and take turns hitting the ball. But for now, you know, I've just got two teammates on the halfway line trying to go for everything. Oh, that's just in! <laughs> I keep forgetting it could curve this much. <laughs> that was a sick shot, though. Check this out. Just bounced off the back wall. And it does add power to it, but it bounced off the back wall. Definitely adds power. Right, can we just like score immediately? How, how far off target can I hit it? Feels like a pretty heavy ball, actually. Oh no, oh no. Our lead is crumbling. Maybe I shouldn't go for the kickoff like this. This is too risky. Just giving it straight to the guy. I've had so few actual hits on the ball so far that I don't really know uh, the physics of it yet. I haven't had any practice whatsoever. Dude, listen, <laughs> you can let the ball go past every once in a while. I imagine that's going in. There we go. Just assumed it was going to go top corner. That was not. Okay. I'll, I'll probably try and go halfway line uh, in, I don't know, maybe late in the game. Holy cow. Uh, but right now we're just going to stay here. That's bouncing off the backboard. Is that just going to roll in? No. One other thing that I like so far about this game mode is the, the power that consecutive touches add to the ball isn't too crazy. Well, it's, it is pretty crazy. I mean, look how fast the ball's moving now, but you know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't suddenly, oh my days, I thought they had it. It doesn't suddenly go from, you know, a really slow moving ball to a super fast moving ball. It's kind of gradual. That's absolutely ridiculous. So 91 miles an hour. Definitely want to see a 100. Okay, back pass. Interesting strategy by the boys. Uh, that's probably just going top corner, isn't it? Yep. You just have to assume that it's going top corner if it's uh, looking close. This one as well. Just going to keep on reading these bounces. The, uh, the harder thing for me to read right now is my teammates and what they're going to hit. I don't think that's in. Yeah, that's going off. And that, that's off as well. Okay, that might just be a goal. That's really tough read. Yep, that's, that's just it. <laughs> that's just a goal. Close game though here. The other team had a decent comeback. Let's check out this goal again. Just an own goal, essentially. And he, he thought it was going top corner, but it was more towards the middle of the goal. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go forward on this play. Okay, never mind. Look at that. So I actually own goal there, but because of every touch that I make carving towards the other team's goal, um, it turned into a save. Uh, so any kind of any touch on the ball if you're near the goal, even if you're technically own goaling by hitting it towards your own goal, will probably carve away from it. I mean, that was some wicked carve. That's good to know. Yeah, this game was a ton of fun. Definitely get it, give it a go, guys. Um, I was wondering... You know, uh, yesterday I was like, okay, I'll record tomorrow. What will I record? Then I, I remembered, I'd seen on Rocket League's Twitter that they had this new game mode today. I thought, oh, that looks brilliant. This this actually looks like a ton of fun. Um, limited time game mode. There's, you know, something Rocket League have tried a few times in the past. Whoa, that didn't go in. Okay. thought it would. This isn't going in. Uh, but yeah, this is this definitely a fun one. Oh, no. <laughs> I really thought he had it. I should not have trusted him, though. I should not have trusted him. In fact... There's really no reason for me to have any faith in my teammate whatsoever because even if he does deflect the ball, it's not like he's going to redirect it into our goal. It's probably going to bounce, or it's probably going to curve away from the goal even if he does hit it. So, you know, waiting to see what kind of touch he gets is not really necessary. I can just assume that he's missing in every single play. So that, that's kind of useful. Like, like here, there's no downside. They, if they hit it, it's probably going to be a save. Oh, no. I thought that was it in the post. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, that seems like a really good thing to do as well. If you can move up the field on a shot, you might as well. Let's just stick it high and make it hard to read. Let's just... Oh, that's not hard to read at all. Okay, right. I've, yeah, I've just realized something. If I hit it on target, it's not going to carve at all, is it? It's actually just going to stay the same. So if, maybe if I pop it sideways? I don't know. I'm going to have to... I mean, if I could play with people who are not ball chasing this hard, I might be able to experiment with various touches. Um, right now, my teammates are just flopping at everything, so I have to wait, do quite a lot of waiting. It's understandable, though. I mean, people want to get stuck in. It's a super fun uh, mechanic here. Oh, that's the second touch, so it's... Hmm, I wonder if you can actually pass in this game. Like, if you hit the ball and a teammate hits it, does it still curve towards the other team's goal? Probably. Alright, we're up by one. Let's try and get the win here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and close down whatever first shot they do. And send it straight back towards their goal. I don't know how I'm gonna read what they're doing, but... We're gonna give it a go. Let's just go forward. We do have 100 boosts after all. All the time. They're gonna deliberately miss to make it a curvier ball. Turned the wrong way there. That was not ideal. Oh, not landing very well here. This is one of the only game modes where you can actually add unlimited boosts and it isn't making the game super ball chasey because you can't really chase the ball, it's too fast. Uh, I know I said earlier on people were chasing. What I, what I was referring to is that people were kind of just rushing every ball, trying to hit every ball. Uh, but even, even from a strategical standpoint, I don't think that's a bad idea. Like, leaving the ball for the guy at the back might be good if... Uh, if your touch is barely making contact, but the fact that every single touch on the ball is guaranteed to add speed to it means that even a tiny little hit is fine. Even the smallest hit is totally okay. Alright, so we joined this game 1 0 down. Now we're 1 all. So we, last game we saw some pretty quick uh, goals, but I don't know if we were anywhere close to the max. Oh my days, that was huge curve at the end there. What the? Oh yeah, hit the backboard. Okay, is that cur that's actually curving towards our goal. So there's actually no way for me to own goal there. If I, oh, well. There is a way for me to give the ball away, but watch this touch by me. This is interesting. This almost looked like a pop into my own goal, but see that? It just curves away, so... It's pretty difficult to own goal. I might, I might try to do that, actually. I'm going to try an own goal, see if it's even possible. Probably is possible, but probably difficult. This is bouncing off the backboard for sure. Oh, dude. Dude, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> That's just a goal. Now, you know, I said that it doesn't really matter who goes for the ball. This is a little bit extreme. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he just <laughs> ended up completely at a stat. <laughs> Excuse me, at a standstill. And then does the little love tap. Oh my days, I can't read it. Can't read it yet. Right, is it coming over here? Can't, can't get another touch on this. That's just going in, obviously, as is every long shot. That's why you have to have a goalkeeper at all times in this game mode. It's if you hit the backboard. That is going to be GG. Two backboard hits in a row. <laughs> Unlucky orange team. I've got two points again. Not really had anything to do so far. I'll need to I'll need to play this later with a couple. Ah, oh, of course it's just in. What am I doing? I'll, I was gonna say I need to, to play this later with uh, a couple of friends. Oh, that looks a bit laggy. Have we have we disconnected? Okay, it's in. I think the server just had a bit of lag there, uh, but we're back. Yeah, if you play this with some friends, it would obviously, you know, just like usual 3v3, it's going to be more fun because you're not going to have complete ball chasers in your team who are just cutting you off and going for every single ball, even if you've got a, a better uh, line than they do to make a strike. I suck. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted to get a glancing blow on it, but maybe I should have just tried to actually hit the ball. Instead of trying to be fancy and hit it uh, across its own face. Go on, miss. Let me redeem myself. 
No redemption. That's going to be a goal, though. They keep leaving their net open. Keep leaving their net open. Right. 4-4. Four, four. Actually a close game. The other game was they were in was pretty close as well, though. Right, he's rushing the middle, as usual. If you want to win this game mode, and you're playing solo, best thing to do is definitely to just stay in goal, because you're still going to get opportunities to shoot, uh, but you're going to be able to, you know, save every shot that is obviously coming on target, because that is how the game works. That was wicked. No bounce. Straight in. Yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely fun to get up front as well. Try to aggressively shut down the opponent's touches before they get a chance to really make anything crazy happen. Just assuming that's in. Still nearly missed it, even though I knew it was going in. Uh, we've scored. Excellent. I got pretty lucky here, not going to lie. I knew it was going bottom corner, but I didn't... Wow. I was very fortunate. Didn't get as high as I wanted to. What? One of our teammates has left the game. wonder why he did that. Should be fine, though. I think we can still win. That might just be the win there. Yeah. Marvin, KBM, outside the goal. You know, just like in regular Rocket League, you probably want to be inside the goal rather than outside uh, to get these saves. All right, let's play one more game. We'll do uh, we'll do one more for YouTube. Uh, then I've got to head off. Oh, I can't ready up. Uh, the reason I'm leaving and going to the main menu after every game, by the way, is because sometimes in casual matches where you're ready up in the lobby remakes, it just loads for ages. I think it's faster if you just go main menu. I might be wrong, though. Might be uh, might be wrong on that. Obviously, you do have the rematch button as well if you want to play again against the same team. Wow, this is like the first Rocket League mode that might be better when you play with formations. Like, this, this is definitely a perma goalie mode. You need a goalkeeper at all times. They have one player. Why do they have one player? What happened there? I kind of feel bad for the guy. I can't even help him. I mean, I'm going to go try and play on his team. But I think if I hit the ball at all, it's going to come towards this goal. I got you, buddy. I got you. There we go. It's coming back. <laughs> I'll play on his team. Let's see what happens. Can we, can we actually help him at all? I think that's going in. No, I can't even help him. I've scored. Oh, no, wait. My teammate scored? I thought I hit this. I definitely hit this ball. Not that it would have made a difference. I'm pretty sure with my hit, this is still... Oh, okay, I didn't hit it. Well, I definitely hit it on, uh, on my POV. Right, pass to me, dude. I'm on your team. Uh, no, okay, I can't reach that. Oh, no, it's really fast. <laughs> this is so hard. This is actually impossible. <laughs> Now I need to make solid saves. You know, if you're if you're if you're making a save uh, properly in this game mode, it's really easy. You just touch the ball and it flies towards the other team's goal. But if you're trying to stop the ball from going into the other team's goal, most of my touches are probably just going to be useless. Okay, thank goodness that didn't go in. There's no way I was saving that. Holy cow! Right, he's got it. Excellent. No idea why he's. Just a one-man team here. Not sure what happened to his squad. Okay, we have to assume that's going top corner. Okay, it's actually not. We have to assume that is. No, that's not either. That's fine. wonder if he's clocked onto the fact that I'm helping him. Um, as best I can. Oh! Okay. There's that mechanic I was talking about. It's impossible for your teammate, or in this case, my opponent, to redirect the ball off target. It's off. Definitely off. Should be quite, quite an easy save for the, them. Oh, they've got someone. Oh, no, it happened again. I definitely saved this. I think I hit it solid enough that it probably wouldn't have gone in as well. Am I lagging or something? Because I definitely hit this. I mean, it was a it was a pretty quick moving ball, to be fair. 91 miles per hour again. Okay, they got a full team. Okay, I guess. My time of trying to save shots unsuccessfully is over. I did save one, definitely. That's about all I saved, though. Looks like just getting the ball to go sideways as much as possible is, is the play. If you can hit the ball sideways, then you're good. Because it's going to be it's gonna have more curve on it when it reaches the other team's goal. You might get unlucky and have it go off target like this, but still much harder to read. Yeah, like this. Really difficult to read. Super fun game mode, though. This is, this is sick. Like I said, I didn't really... 
watch any gameplay of it before I uh, hopped in to record this today. All I saw was the trailer, but I was sold. I thought that looks like a really cool concept. Um, people are probably going to be asking for a rank leaderboard for this, but <laughs> I don't know if that's necessary. You know, keeping something like this in a limited game mode, I think is a really good idea. Um, just have it every now and again. Um, there's probably lots of other limited game mode ideas that you could have that Psyonix just haven't tried yet or haven't come up with. Get it all the way to the left. It's off. I can see that it's off, so we're just going to let it shoot itself. Okay, that's on though. That's definitely on. He's got it. Yeah, that's off as well. Maybe it was sneaking in the bottom corner. Okay, we've got a quick one here. It's off. That's definitely on. They've got it. This is on for sh for sure. Have to jump in case my team misses because there's no need to worry about their deflecting touch. This has to be the fastest goal we've seen yet. No! No, I wanted to score it. Oh, I think it got slowed down by the fact that somebody touched it on its way in. That little touch there, I think, slowed down the shot. It probably would have been... Uh, Dude, no, don't hit it that way. I wanted to hit it sideways. Okay, thank goodness he had that. I didn't. That's what I mean, though. Like, people are <laughs> so desperate to hit the ball, and they'll just go for it from any position. It's just like a kickoff in low rank, pretty much. It's one of those game modes, though, where any, almost any touch is a pretty good touch. So you're, if you can hit the ball, there's not, not really any reason not to. You might as well. Um, but for kickoffs, this is the this is the one uncontested touch that you've got time with. This is the one that you should try and make the most of. Just actually hit it sideways. I think is the best idea. Make it as hard to read as possible. And afterwards, you know, cutting off in the midfield like this, totally fine. If that guy, what that guy did was, I mean, that was maybe a bit much because he actually hit it straight sideways, so it was always going to be an own goal. Um, same with this hit here. I mean, he just skies it, so it's probably a bad idea like this. Not that we, we have to wait for one more touch. That there, obviously a bad touch because it doesn't have space to curve on target. But if you can hit a shot that's... Uh, or if you can hit the ball, not... Yeah, this, this is ideal. That's like that's what you want on the kickoff. Sideways. Uh, but yeah, if you can hit a touch that's gonna at least threaten to spin on target you might as well I guess it has to be on target even even close to the goal is not a good idea I was missing that has to be on target to be good in this mode people are actually reading oh my days didn't read that one people are reading the, the ball pretty well and I mean everybody's figured out that just staying in goal seems like the the best idea it would be interesting to see a kickoff um, like this used in the main Rocket League game mode. A kickoff where one team just has the ball at the start instead of a random possession play in the middle or a random kickoff in the middle. would love to see that implemented into, into Rocket League somehow. The only thing I would worry about is that maybe it would make games too low scoring because you would have less uh, low boost volatile plays off kickoffs, but it would be interesting to, to see experimented with. Yeah, GG's here in, what's it called? Heat, heat Seeker? Heart Seeker? I'm gonna go to the main menu and double check because I want to know the name. Uh, let's see. Heat Seeker. Super fun game mode. Limited time. So if you want to play it, uh, get stuck in in the next three days. Almost four days. It just, it just went live 30, 34 minutes ago. Um, so you haven't missed much, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is you know something a little different if I like the look of a new game mode uh, Maybe uh, the psionics launch if they have any more um, Limited time game modes like this. I'll probably do this again uh, This one look, looks uh, really good and it plays just as well. This is so fun uh, Definitely get stuck in with some friends so you can have a good laugh with it um, 57 58,000 nearly in the playlist and this is just like in the morning for uh, most of America, or a lot of America. Definitely most. There's more that are playing in 2v2. More in Heat Seeker than in 2v2. Wow. Insane. Uh, but this is probably going to stay popular. I wouldn't be surprised if people ask for this to be extended. Um, 
because it is just that good. Uh, it's just it's going to be super fun. The one thing I'm I'm uh, thinking about though is that it might be too fun that when people go back to playing regular Rocket League, they'll think, "Wow, this ball's really slow. I want to play more Heat Seekers." So that's why it will always be a limited time thing, uh, just so people don't get too uh, like hung over <laughs> on this uh, regular Rocket League playlist. Uh, but yeah, super cool. Shout out to Psyonix for doing this. Hopefully they uh, do more stuff like this. If you have any ideas for game modes that they could do or ideas they could try, then uh, definitely just let them know. I'm sure they're reading most of their Twitter uh, replies. And yeah, let, let's uh, let's hit them up and say a good job on this one. This is, this is super fun. Well, I guess you get, maybe it's just me that think it's fun. You guys can go try it yourself and then make, <laughs> make up your own mind. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. I've got some stuff i got to go run and do. Have fun with Heat Seeker and stay safe, stay indoors, the usual stuff. Uh, take care, everybody. Have a good one.